Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are still working on Macbeth and today we get to hear from Malcolm in Act 4, Scene 3. Malcolm being the eldest son of Duncan, the former King of Scotland who was unceremoniously murdered in Act 2 of this particular play. And Malcolm is currently in England and Macduff has gone to join him um, because they both are very suspicious of Macbeth. So this particular scene happens in England and it's between Malcolm and Macduff, at least to kick things off. And the two of them start out the scene sort of bemoaning what a mess Scotland has become and how it seems like every day they wake up and there's just more widows crying and more babies being slaughtered and maybe that's an exaggeration. Um, but just bemoaning bemoaning the state of, of their country and and blaming Macbeth for it and saying that he's he's a villain and, and that sort of thing. And Malcolm says to Macduff, you know, like, why is it that and when the world is so crazy like this and so messed up, like, why would you leave your wife and kids at home unprotected? Like, that makes no sense. And because of the nature of the conversation, Macduff is like, whoa, 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 hang on there. I don't need you telling me that I'm a villain, so I'm out. And Malcolm says, be not offended. I speak not as in absolute fear of you. I think our country sinks beneath the yoke. It weeps, it bleeds, and each new day a gash is added to her wounds. I think withal, there would be hands uplifted in my right. And here from gracious England have I offer of goodly thousands. But for all of this, when I shall tread upon the tyrant's head, or wear it on my sword, Yet my poor country shall have more vices than it had before, more suffer, and more sundry ways than ever by him that shall succeed. So Malcolm, he's starting here by saying like, hang on, I, I didn't mean to be offensive and say like you specifically. I, it was sort of like the, the royal you, you know, why is everybody not taking better care of themselves and not being not being more protective and that kind of thing when our country is such a mess because you know we the audience know that it was Macbeth who killed Duncan and he had Banquo killed and he killed Duncan's guards and all of that sort of thing so it is kind of a dangerous time and England is going to go to war with Scotland to try to overthrow Macbeth and all of these sorts of things there's you know it's just a time of turmoil so he's like I, I didn't I didn't mean to offend you specifically and and then he goes on to say that he believes that there are people in Scotland who believe that Malcolm, you know, the throne is his birthright, so they would be happy if he came back to Scotland and took the throne. And he's got the support of the English to back him up, but he's like, you know, I would be a worse king than Macbeth by far. And Macduff is like, what? What? No, there's there's nobody worse than Macbeth and Malcolm's like, oh yeah, I've I've sinned a lot. I've done all of the bad things. I've done every single bad thing imaginable. And Macduff is like, that's that's great. Like I don't even under I don't even understand what like what how how what no this doesn't make any sense. And Malcolm keeps going on saying how bad he is and what a terrible king he is and saying like, you know, if if this list of qualities are the list of qualities that a king needs to have in order to be a good king, I lack all of those things and I am the opposite of those things. So would you really want someone like that as the king? And tomorrow we get Macduff's answer to that question. So I will see you then for that. Mwah.